first thing we're going to be doing is attaching these little crimp ends to the beading chain here. So I found that the easiest way to do this is to place the beading chain into the fold over crimp. So you can see, hopefully you can see this, it's a sort of a U-shaped um, opening here. So we'll place one end into the crimp and I'm just going to extend the chain almost to where the um, loop of the end starts and I'm going to just catch that with one of my flat nose pliers just to hold it into place. It's just easier to keep track of everything. So you can see it's, I'm just, I just have the chain in there. I'm going to take the other flat nose plier and bring one side of this down. Like that. Nice and snug. And then bring the other side over. And make sure that's just a little fiddly. I've got that the wrong way around there. Just draw this down so it's nice and snug around the beading chain. Just take your time with this. And you can see that that's caught there. Now there's actually, I don't know if you can see this, there's a little bit of um, chain that's still sticking out here. So we're just going to trim that off with the flush cutter. Just make sure that you don't cut the loop as well. that and then we'll do the other one. I'm actually going to change glasses up here because it's a little bit tricky to see this fine um, detail. So let's do the other one here. So we'll pop this back in. Just use my pliers to hold it in place. There. Again, fold one side down first, just fold it over gently. Make sure it's connected with the beading chain. And just bring the other side over. There we go. And once again, trim off this little bit of chain that's extended through there. Just make sure that you don't catch the loop as well. There we go. So we've got our two pieces here now. 